All right, hello everyone. Welcome to this next episode on anubhavtrainings.com. In the last two episodes of series performance improvement annotations, we have discussed about the static dependencies. We talked about how can you analyze the performance of a CDS view. And also we discussed how can you improve the performance by adding the performance KPI annotations. In this episode, I will show you as I promised, how can you investigate and find out all the CDS views in your company, which are not following the guidelines, which are actually violating the performance guidelines and not maintaining any service qualities, which needs to be maintained in all the CDS views for desired performance. If you have not seen the part one and part two of this video series, I would request you to please find the link into the description of this video and navigate those uh, to those parts first to watch them up and then come back to this video. If you think my sessions are helping you, please feel free to subscribe to my channel and also hit the like button. Do share this video with your friends so that they can also take benefit out of this free learning series. With that, let's get started. So as we've seen that any CDS view should maintain these service qualities as part of uh, the annotation in the header so that they can achieve or you can achieve the desired performance as per the KPI service qualities. Now, just in case if in your team you have built a lot of CDS views or your core developers have built a lot of them and they are not maintaining these service qualities, how do you go back and check all of them at once? So for that, I'll show you writing a quick ABAP report today and also, also show you where are these annotations maintained. You can do a lot with that table. So we'll go back to our ABAP system and I will go to SC11. And now here I will give a table name called DD head NO. Don't worry, this table name, I will also put it in the description of this video. So you can copy from the description of this video also. So with that, I'll just quickly go inside the data preview and I will copy our CDS view name. Let me just copy that and put that over here in the name. And let me now execute. Oops. Let me just try to put it in structure object. Execute yes, and now we find the list of all the annotations used at which position and line number. Awesome, isn't it? So now you see here we have maintained already this object model usage type, data class, service quality, and size category. So if these annotations are maintained, you are actually going to get probably a good performance because developer has marked them clearly. But if just in case your CDs view have not maintained them, then really there can be a problem going forward in the production. So you need to now investigate all in mass. You basically, you cannot go to every CDS view and check whether they maintain it or not. You wanted to do this once for all in the whole of the system. Yeah. So let me show you now what you can do is go to SE38 and probably I'll use magic of my ABAP skills uh, here to develop something. So let me create a report program. I'll also share the source code of this report program in the description of this video. So you can find the complete source code in my description and then download this program and just run it for free in your in your production system or sorry, of course, in your dev system in that case. So let me just write a new program and say Z Anubhav underscore CDS performance. And just click on create button and create a quick about program. Ah, maybe I don't want to use SAP GUI. Probably I just want to switch to my web development tools in Eclipse. And that's what I want to use, guys, really. Yes, that's a new way of doing things. I love ADT. Let's come back and create one new program over here on a web development tools. And just choose it as a web program. Yeah, just go ahead and choose a web program. Say next. And just keep C Anubhav uh, CDS performance check. Check if service quality annotations are maintained. And just click on finish. And just write it out there at the beginning. The purpose of the report. This report will investigate all your custom CDS views to 
to find those ones who are not maintaining service quality KPI. Yeah. So without this, as you know, it's a big risk uh, in terms of performance because system or HANA DB will not know what type of data are you processing, how much calculation engine computation power do you really need? And this report is brought to you by anubavtrainings.com. So feel free to subscribe our ABAP on HANA come S4 HANA training for more details on that. Now it's time to query the table as you can already see the table. So we have a structure object name, name and position. So we will just go back and just put this. I'll be writing a quick select query, selecting the, the names of the CDS views which are not maintaining this service quality. So that's what we'll be doing. So let's go back to my EDT and I will say, please select these objects, okay, from the table um, DD head NO. Uh, into table inline data declaration and uh, I will say where my object name is like starting with Z or object name is like starting with Y all the Y and Z which means the views which have which are custom views and just put it correctly and uh, make sure that they do not contain in the name okay name is not like all those views which where the name is not like this okay oh my god I think we cannot do that so let me just first get the the names into this table all right so we'll just be getting the name and get the list of those which contains uh, the annotation basically. So we, we are first getting all of them which contains the annotation. So let's put here name, uh, contains a string or, or contains of course. So let's put that uh, contains string or like, yeah. And I will just put my annotation name. So I'll go back to the table and once again check for our CDS view what is that it, it should have and it should have exactly a usage type annotation. Of course you can enhance this based on based on your need further to check for all three or just one based on your need but I just put it here usage type this is where annotations are stored. So now it will give me the list of only those list of series views which contains this annotation okay so that's what I get it but of course you may get multiple entry for same CDS view so I will just also add a distinct clause to just avoid getting the same entry again and again let me just quickly check everything looks okay and we just just print here the names of CDS view quickly which contains uh, this annotation so of course the entry should come let me see in my system how many of them really contains the which are z and y so we will now go to cl demo output and i say display data and we will pass our lt names out here let's activate and run this and now you'll see all the list of CDS views which do have those annotations which are Z and Y. So let me run that and you see these are all the ones which do have those annotations. All right. So let's go ahead and, and verify. So we'll pick up any one of them. So these are all the list of CDS views which has actually the usage type annotations. Okay. So let me pick it up one copy go back just close this and now use my ADT shortcut to find out the one and let's see oh wow there you go 
you can see we do have usage type maintained here for this superb that's so nice but this is the list of the one which has but what about those who doesn't have that's what was our need so in that case we need to find out a table which contains list of all the cds views very easy go back to this table where the annotations are stored and just check the package of the table where other db tables are maintained so you can see here there are other db tables in this package which contains all the cds engine and i will go with this one this is the one which contains the cds ddl source list complete list of cds views in the whole of system so now just go back and i will probably select the ddl name from this table into table lt not have okay i would say bad cds where and now important thing is again this condition like condition just because i'm interested only in the custom cds views that's the condition we write together with this we also write another condition and my ddl source name is not equals to my internal table lt names hyphen structure object and there's something we got to write it next here and at the rate escaping of host variables and that's a structure object name and yes, you're right for all entries in my internal table. I hope this should work fine. Let's try this. All right, there's a problem with the type length. Okay, we will resolve this. So let's keep it. Uh, it's a one-time activity, so it's okay. We don't care performance of this report. So maybe just say bye-bye to this. Bye-bye. Just be using bad programming, loop it, loop it data, probably a little bit of processing. Of course, this can also be improved by adding a CDS view, another CDS view to implement the whole whole report. But just I don't right now care about performance here. Just wanted to find out the list. So we got two internal tables one has all cds views and one has those good ones and these are the bad ones let's subtract uh, the bad ones from the good ones so now i will be looping uh, from uh, from this one the good ones and we will be eliminating the bad ones from there so let's loop at this table into at the rate data ls names And now we will be removing and leaving only the bad ones. So delete from this where the source name is equals to name hyphen. I hope this will not give me an error here now. Let's try. Yeah, it's giving me an error. That's okay. We can now manage this one at least by keeping in DDDLR. SRC. And I will declare this as a variable type, and this is of type this table. So let's do that from this table, DDL name, and I will just put it here. Okay. No component exists with this name. Okay, I'm my bad. It's DDL name. Okay, so delete all the bad guys uh, where it is not matching, and the remaining ones are really bad guys. So let's save this and activate. And now you really get those bad guys which are not really having. Okay, not really having those annotations. I'm going to execute it. I'm expecting a big list out of it. Let's run and see how much of those culprits are in the system oh wow so many that's surprising for my manager as well okay will it create problem for me in my company if this surface probably not it should be taken by all your developers in a in a more optimistic way but maybe i will pick up 
one copy and let's verify okay does it have the usage type annotation so control shift a search for the view entity and let's go inside and what do you see here is no annotation of usage type in fact there's a syntax error also in this view oh wow that's a quite lot interesting information if you like this video please feel free to subscribe this channel and don't forget to hit the like button with that anubhav signing out thank you so much and goodbye